Mikey come out to your house for the other day, Maurice? First three nights. <laughs> he came. Uh, he came to pick some stuff up. I gave uh, I gave Al some speaker stands and uh, some other some other stuff he wanted. Oh. Uh, so Mikey came all the way out there for Al. You think? Hell no. I mean, you know. Oh my God. So Tony, yeah, you figured it out, right? Nope. Hey, you have you figured it out already? <laughs> you didn't loan him money, did you? <laughs> Who hasn't? What? Who hasn't? You loaned him money too? Yeah, it's okay. Oh wow. That's what I want to do. Don't worry about it. I mean, it's, it's, you know, if it comes back, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ah, uh, he must have gotten Maurice two weeks ago when he went out there. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. I know he wouldn't drive all the way out there for just to pick up stuff for nothing. Exactly. How much you snake it for? He got me for 40. <laughs> I got a good heart, dude. Nothing wrong with a good heart. What what you do come comes back to you. So no matter no matter what the outcome is, no matter what the outcome is. So Roger, Roger. Where's the mic team? Good face. I gave him a beautiful a beautiful uh, crisp bill. Who he snaked you for a uh, for a Benji? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, good heart. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. I'm not worried about it. I, I did it. I did it from my heart, so I'm not worried about it. Right on, dude. So you paid for sex? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good, Nick. I'll give you, I'll give you credit for that. That's right. Mikey's mouth is holy. All right, guys, I'm destinated. Catch you later. See you later, Nick. Yeah, Mac is got an aggressive mouth. Too bad Al couldn't have been out here to hear that, man. Shoot, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to tell him. <laughs> You're gonna have to cue that one up. Yeah. Don't say nothing to him. Don't say that now. All right. You know what? For you, I won't. But it's hard. Oh, I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't tell him. Come on, that kind of information has to be public knowledge. Oh, I can hear it now, man. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, did you get... Oh, man, yeah, you you could hear it now. If Al got a hold of that... Oh, dude. I'm pulling into the Chevron. I'll be back. Oh, I knew it. I knew that Mike wouldn't go all the way out there and just get my speaker set. Oh, I knew that. Hey, T-Bone. Yo, what's up, brother? If Mikey's quiet, what does that mean? That means he's been listening to you guys all morning. I heard what you were saying, too. <laughs> hey, T-Bone, how much is Mikey into you for? Oh, I cut him off. No, he... I can tell you some stories, but I'm not going to do it over the air. I don't want to start shit. Oh, man, what would be better on a, on a Friday morning than some Mikey stories, man? Some Mikey horror stories. Uh, dude, if my pal gets a hold of that information, Murray's information, it's all over. I'm pulling from the house. I'll catch you guys on the base in a few. I'm sure, I, 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 I'm sure you guys won't say anything. No, I'm pretty sure somebody will. <laughs> I'll be on the base. Yeah, that's, that's what I think, too. Never be told to Al. Who cares? I'm going to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it goes. Too fucking late. Too late. Yeah, Dr. D likes it in the ass. Oh, did you hear why uh, Maurice, uh, why Mikey went out to Maurice's? No. He lent him a hundred bucks or gave it to him. Bye, bye, bye. I saw you serious. That's what we found out. Bear back. Yeah, from the horse's mouth, too. It's not rumor. Are you fucking serious? The 
Chris of Benji. Of Marie said he did it out of the kindness of his heart that, you know, he wanted to do something that made himself feel good. Dude, I knew fucking Mikey didn't go out to Maurice's for nothing. I knew that was bullshit. And they told me his brother gave him $100. See, he's just a lying piece of shit. That's why I'm never going to do anything for him anymore. Apparently Kenny had this feeling, too. Kenny, are you still out there? I'm sure. I mean, Maurice just didn't come up and tell him, hey, I'll just give you $100. I'm sure he called him and begged him for it. Remember we were wondering why you went out there? Just for, like, your speakers or something? We're finding it kind of funny. He drove all the way out there. Dude, I knew that was bullshit. I didn't even believe that when he said he just wanted to drive. You know, I knew he, he didn't go out there just for that. See, Maurice was smart, though. See, Maurice just said, here, I'll just give it to you. I'm not going to loan it to you. Because Maurice knew that he wouldn't get paid back. I'm not quite sure what he said if he gets paid. He said he wasn't worried about it. If he gets paid back, he gets paid back. So I think he gave it to him as a loan with the understanding that, hey, I may, I may never see this again. Well, he got that one right. Hey, doesn't he still owe you 40 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, I hope he continues to, too. Wow, how long has it been so far? Uh, I don't remember what month that was, but it's... it's it, held off the phone call, so it's been cool. Yeah, if he can't pay back 40, he sure the fuck can't pay back 100. Well, I didn't think Maurice was that big of a sucker. Well, fuck, dude, he's probably tired of his fucking phone ringing all the time and having Mikey beg. So what you're saying is he paid him off to stop calling him? Pretty much. And I'm sure Mikey said, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get it right back to you next week. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, if you're out here early this morning, uh, you would have heard all of it. Heard all of what? Where you put money back? Is that right? The reason that you drove all the way out to go see Maurice? Is that right? He said, oh, I just wanted to take a drive. It's pretty bad when you start begging Maurice for money. The poor guy doesn't have any. Tim, you see where T-Bone started? Well, Mikey must be pretty stupid if he thinks I would have believed that story. You can believe whatever you want, Al. Yeah, Al, believe whatever you want, you asshole. <laughs> well, I got a hundred bucks for you. You know, I told you, Al, I borrowed, I got that hundred from my brother. I don't know why you guys are thinking I got it from Maurice. If you're going to assume that, it makes, an, it makes an ass out of you. Oh, no, dude, why would Maurice come out here and lie about him giving you money? Maurice didn't come out here and do that. That's bullshit. You're just assuming. Absolutely wrong, Mikey. He he he, he didn't come out here and and, and uh, he said you know it was cool. You know he he, he 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 lent you the money or gave it to you, whatever it was. Why even lie about it, dude? It's not a big fucking deal. You're making an idiot out of yourself by denying it. We know the truth. He fucking told us. Yeah. Right. Whatever. It Dan, it doesn't matter. What the fuck does it matter where I got some money at? It is, do you guys have nothing to talk about that you always got to talk about my personal fucking business? You know, but if you had just said, yeah, he gave me a hundred bucks, big fucking deal, we, it, it would probably just go right away, but uh, we, it goes on and on because you deny it and we know the truth. So when you're like sitting there and I go, no, he didn't, I don't know what you're talking about, dude, come on, dude, just fucking say, yeah, he did, big fucking deal, get over it. Because no matter what happens, I'm still not going to hear the fucking end of it. You know, for some reason, you guys seem to enjoy fucking needling me about my situation. You know, which is really fucked up. I mean, if the roles were reversed, I wouldn't say a goddamn thing to anybody out there. I damn sure wouldn't harass them about being fucking homeless and the other shit. But you guys seem to enjoy doing that. Why? I don't know. Well, dude, we've tried to fucking tell you. I told you myself, they're fucking hiring over at Lowe's right now. Uh, they're right as we speak. They're fucking doing interviews and hiring people. I've known two people that got hired at Lowe's. Have you even gone over there? You know, when it comes to the point where we're trying to help you and you don't even, you know, help yourself when we're trying to tell you, then it's time to start fucking with you about it. You know, we're telling you, fuck, dude, they're hiring at, at, at Virgil's. They're hiring at Lowe's. Lowe's is right there in Burbank, dude, at the media center, right there by fucking Costco. Dude, tell me that isn't any, that, that's not super close. 
to fucking where you're at right now. Go over there and fucking, you could probably get a job today. You know? Yeah, but see, the thing, you know, I, I have been. I put in the uh, thing over at the school. Uh, hell, I even called the guy that Gage told me to call. I talked to a human being there, and he said he would give the guy the number, and I still haven't heard back from these fucking people. I mean, people don't even have the fucking courtesy to give somebody a chicken shit little phone call.